the goal is to hear from each one of these companies and find out uh, what happened at their location and uh, hear their before and after. Uh, in this particular case with Kent, we'd like to know about his throughput increase, reduction of material handling, and how it's impacted his employee training. So, Can you hear me? We hear you fine. Very good. A um, little background, we started uh, with Production Coach in summer to fall of 2016. We had been considering uh, this type of a technology for some time, but weren't quite convinced that it was going to give us a payback or get us very, very, very much bang for our buck. Being the owner, uh, I end up having to fill in in the shop whenever we get overwhelmed and, and do whatever needs to be done. And the most onerous job that that the typically is is in the summer when we're when we're under the gun because we do a lot of school work it's sorting parts prior to assembly you've got let's say you had a, a hundred cabinets on a job and each cabinet had uh, 10 parts there's 10 there's a thousand parts now and you need to find the first the 10 parts for the first cabinet so i'm out there in the summer sweating big time and uh, it's 110 degrees and i'm i'm sorting all these parts and i'm, I'm laying in bed at night thinking man there's got to be a better way to do this and I remembered the demonstration that had been given to me about Production Coach and, and recognized that while sorting parts wasn't really what they were about, uh, the technology was the same. And so I approached them and said, hey, c could you do this? And they said, sure, we could do that. And it took them probably about two months to, uh, of testing back and forth between us to get it nailed down. And, and so the before Production Coach and the after Production Coach are, are dramatically different. Before Production Coach, we sort parts. It was an absolute huge hassle. It took a lot of time. It took a fair amount of skill. Uh, it was a drag. It was no fun to do. Uh, it was just a, a giant mess. Uh, the tracking of damaged parts when, when something was missing or, or, or needed repair, it got lost all the time. No, no one ever knew where it was at or what stage it was in. We would not discover that parts were either missing or damaged until we had already started assembling the cabinets and then only to discover we don't have the, the last part that we need and now we've wasted time on building a cabinet that we, we can't finish and, um, and then we got to find some place to put all this stuff that now we got to get out of our way so we can start on the next one. In, anybody that knows anything about, about lean manufacturing knows that there's eight wastes and, and we continuously were hitting about six out of these eight wastes. Uh, that Lean talks about. Number one is overproduction, where you're making more of something than you need or you're making it before you need it. So in our case, we're starting to build a cabinet and now we can't finish it, so that's not good. We're, we're wasting the, the, the waste of transportation where we're moving these parts into the assembly process and now we've got to get them back out of the process. Uh, overprocessing, which is where we're, we're doing more than is required at any time. We're not adding any value because now we're, we're touching these parts multiple times. We're wasting motion. There's the waste of waiting where the employees downstream from us are now waiting because we didn't, weren't able to pass the product we'd started on. And then the waste of employee potential because we're, we're doing all this other stupid stuff, our employees can't be adding value. So on a daily basis, we're, we're, we're hitting six of the eight wastes continuously over and over and over again. Our, our shipping accuracy was poor. When we were supposed to ship 10 products to a, to a job site, we'd invariably multiple times every day end up missing one or two things off of a shipment, having to make extra shipments. It was just a mess. So, so after the implementation of Production Coach, when it's now time to sort parts, instead of looking for those first 10 parts and you're touching the same parts over and over and over again, you pick up the very first part in the stack and you scan it and it tells you where to put it in the rack. And then you touch the next one and you touch the next one. And you're only touching each part once, which means that our sorting time is probably cut, I'm going to say, conservatively by 20, down to 25% of it uh, what it was. Our, our tracking of damaged parts became extremely easy because Production Coach now man, uh, manages that. And if we have a part that's damaged, it shows up on the screen over at the, in our case, nesting router, or your case, maybe a beam saw. And it tells the operator exactly what part needs to be produced. Uh, it's, it spits out a report that has a barcode on it that we scan the barcode. It automatically loads up the program into the CNC, you push the go button and you've got a, a remade part, which now can be expedited through the process. Um, in addition to that, we now know before we ever start building that work order of cabinets that some parts are missing, which now gives us time before we ever start to get all the parts correct and, and assembled into one kit uh, before we start building it, which so now we're, we're eliminating all that wasted motion. Uh, our shipments are almost always complete. I went and talked to our 
our truck driver the other day, and I said, so how successful are we now with shipping uh, work orders complete and not having people call up and asking for things they can't find? He said, well, they still ask for things that they can't find, but we're able to prove to them that they signed for it and that it was received. And he said in the last four to five months, we've only had one time where we actually did not ship something that we thought we had shipped because we put the wrong part, product label on the wrong on the wrong product. So it's it's solved a tremendous number of problems for us. We've had a, I know this is hard to believe, but a 300% increase in throughput capacity in our assembly department. We're utilizing the same number of people, we're utilizing the same amount of square footage, and we're utilizing the same equipment, but we're able to assemble three times as many cabinets in a day as we could prior. Uh, our material handling has been reduced tremendously because we're touching each part one time instead of touching that same stack of parts over and over and over again. Um, and we all know that every time we touch a part and move it, we're increasing the risk of damage. So, so our damage has gone down. Um, it's an extremely easy program to implement and to train people how to use. Uh, it goes very quickly. We're able to take some new employee who comes in off the street and within five minutes have them up to, to speed sorting parts. And, and they don't need any special training. Before, it would take conservatively weeks to get them good at, at knowing what all these different parts were and what they were looking and, where, and it, it, all that's just gone. Overall, it's, it's sped up our throughput of work through our, through our facility. Uh, it's increased our accuracy of delivery uh, and it's made life just better. I had two of my employees both independently of each other and unprompted come into my office and say, you know, uh, before we got production coach, we, we thought work was okay. But now that we have production coach, if we had to go back to doing it the old way, we would quit and go flip hamburgers. It makes that big a difference. Okay. Well, Kent, thanks for your input. Uh, all uh, interesting comments. And, and, and Kent, so how long did you say in terms of time, days, to get this uh, installed and running? So prior to the, in, to the installer or the installation technician showing up, we had pre-installed all of the computers and pre-installed, downloaded the software and hooked up the barcode scanner. So we did the preparation work. And within a half a day of the technician being here, we were, we were functioning and using it. And he was only here for one day and we were, we were done and, and using it. So we had a one day integration. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for your report, Kent.